Life at the Crossroads is the strategy of Campus Crusade that is committed to transforming communities in moral crisis with hope, life, and truth of Jesus Christ. The Tempelhofs have been part of this strategy for the past seven years in KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa. Tragically, South Africa is known as the epicenter of HIV AIDS in the world today. South Africa has a population of 45 million and 5.5 million are infected with AIDS. In KwaZulu-Natal, where Crossroads operates, the population is 10 million. The shocking news is that in certain areas, 80% of young adults are infected with HIV. Half of the hospital beds in KwaZulu-Natal are occupied by people with AIDS. South Africans say in KZN, people are dying like flies. South Africa is a country of contrasts. Many people dwell in urban townships. In the rural areas, they might still live in traditional homes called kraals. Even though there is a growing middle class, there's still a great divide between the rich and the very poor who live in what is known in South Africa as informal settlements. The poor of South Africa seem to be the most vulnerable to the HIV pandemic. After seven years of directly teaching HIV prevention in the public schools, the leadership of the Crossroads strategy in KwaZulu-Natal has realized that a more effective approach in addressing the pandemic is to motivate and equip local church volunteers to help attend to this crisis. The Church of Jesus Christ has the largest source of volunteer manpower available to help in the prevention of HIV infections and it is also equipped to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Crossroads employs five approaches to serve local churches to help public schools in HIV prevention. They are motivation of church volunteers, implementation of a year-long curriculum called LATC, evangelization of teachers and students, mobilization of prayer for schools, and consultation by Crossroads workers. The motivation approach is a two-week project of partnering North American and South African church volunteers to serve public schools with a six-lesson HIV prevention course called Better Choices. The church volunteers are equipped and then organized into mixed teams of North Americans and South Africans to teach Better Choices, which helps youth make wise decisions regarding the future and HIV prevention. The church volunteers are also equipped to use the Jesus film to help youth make a choice to receive Jesus Christ. Over the past three years, of the 2,340 students that were trained, about 30% have made first-time decisions for Christ. And 80% of students made a commitment of sexual abstinence until marriage. Students also receive certificates for completing the Better Choices course. The motivation approach set the stage for the implementation of the year-long LATC curriculum in high schools. Motivated church volunteers in KZN commit themselves for one year to assist teachers three hours weekly at the school. The Life at the Crossroads, or LATC curriculum, focuses on sexual abstinence until marriage through character development, using Christ as a role model of good character. School teachers, along with the volunteers, are trained to teach the Life at the Crossroads curriculum. The teachers and church volunteers then form teams that teach one lesson weekly. The lessons are interactive, and the students have a high attention span during these classes. Halfway through the course, the Jesus DVD is shown and Jesus is used as a role model of good character. And the youth discuss the qualities of good character observed in the life of Christ. Many young people trained in the LATC curriculum have displayed a change of behavior leading towards good character. The evangelism approach equips local church volunteers to lead students or even a teacher to Christ. And youth are helped to grow spiritually through small group Bible studies. These spiritual and social activities occur after school hours. 
Such encounters of peer influence among youth are ideal situations for youth to strengthen their commitments to Christ and maintain the commitment to abstinence before marriage. Prayer for the youth involved in the Crossroads strategy is of utmost importance. The Mothers Who Care Ministry of Campus Crusade for Christ is employed in this regard. Christian mothers from the schools their children attend are mobilized to pray weekly for one hour in small groups. Mothers pray for the spiritual needs of their children, their teachers, and the Crossroads program. There are presently about 250 groups of mothers in KZN meeting weekly and praying for their schools. Consultation is the critical ingredient for the effectiveness of a partnership between a local church and a school in the prevention of HIV infections. The responsibility for the consultation approach in the program rests with our faithful Crossroads workers who maintain ongoing contact with the churches. They ensure that there is a balance between addressing HIV prevention and the social needs of students such as a school food program and spiritual encouragement, which is ultimately the only source of peace and direction in one's life. Able leaders in Crossroads implement the strategy in KwaZulu-Natal. Realizing that local churches have a critical role to play in the prevention of HIV infections among youth in South African schools, we are inviting Christian volunteers in North America and South Africa to participate with Crossroads in addressing the HIV AIDS pandemic. What can you do to strengthen the Crossroads program in KZN? Pray for the HIV pandemic and for the effectiveness of the Crossroads strategy. Participate in a two-week Better Choices project that trains public school students in HIV prevention and decision-making skills. Partner as a church with the South African school to implement the Life at the Crossroads strategy and pay to help fund the Life at the Crossroads strategy. Jesus reminds us concerning the poor and the needy. I tell you the truth, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did for me. Thank you for considering joining us in this important ministry of HIV prevention among the youth in public schools in KwaZulu-Natal.